What's going on, everybody? Jay Lawson here, and I am back with another arithmetic reasoning solve for a variable word problem. In this example, we're going to look at a problem with two variables. Um, it was taken off a practice test. Um, I just want to go into the thought process of getting this problem solved. You will definitely see problems like this on uh, these type of math exams and especially the ASVAB. So uh, I just want to help you out, out with uh, being able to solve this type of problem. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it and look at the uh, question. It's asking us if B does not equal zero and A times B is equal to B over four, solve for A. So we want to get the value of A. So they want a, a number value or either the A is equal to whatever. So obviously the thought process behind this one is we want to get A by itself because we're trying to solve for A. So we need to know what does A equal. So the end result will be A equals something. So that's where we're trying to get. So let's look at this equation and figure out how we can get AB equals B over four to have A on the left side by itself. Well, it's pretty easy. Um, to solve this, all you'll have to do to get is get rid of that B. So if we look at the B on the left-hand side, to get rid of it, to isolate A, all we'll need to do is divide by B on both sides. So we'll divide AB by B, and we'll divide B over four divided by B. Because remember, whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right side in order to keep the uh, equation uh, equivalent. So let's go ahead and do this and divide both sides by B. On the left side, we'll have A over B, I'm sorry, AB over B, and the right side will have B over four over B. And when we reduce that, when we solve it, the B values on the left side are gonna cancel out, leaving us with just A on the left side equals B over four times one over B. And the way I got that is the B over four value, um, when you divide something by B, it's the same as multiplying times one over that number. So if you were to divide by, say, two, it's the same as multiplying by one over two. If you divide by five, it's the same as multiplying times one over five. So when you divide by B, it's the same as multiplying times one over B. And the reason why we needed to use that technique is because we want to eventually be able to get the B to cancel out. And that's what we're gonna do here. When you simplify, you'll get A equals B over four B. Because if you multiply the numerators out, B times one is B, and four times B is four B. So you see in that step where it says B over four times one over B, we're gonna go B times one, which is B, and four times B, which is four B. So we're multiplying across the numerators and then multiplying across the denominators. And we had to use that step because when we had the B over four divided by B, it was too complicated at that point. So we just multiplied times one over B to get it to an easier manageable uh, problem. Now we have A equals B over four B, and all we have to do to get rid of the B on the right-hand side, because B anything over itself is just one, is we can just cancel those out because that B in the numerator and B in the denominator equals shows that that's just one. 
So B divided by B is 1. So that's the same as 1 over 4. Because 1 over 4 times 1 is just 1 over 4. So the answer to this question is going to be A equals 1 over 4. So to get to that point, like we said from the beginning, we were trying to get the A by itself, which we did by dividing by B on both sides. Once we divided by B on both sides, we reduced the left hand side to just A because the B's canceled out. We reduced the right hand side to B over 4 over B. Because that B was in the denominator, we wanted to multiply it times 1 over itself to get it where we could multiply the fractions, which ended up with b over 4b, and then the b's canceled out because they equal 1, to yield a equals 1 fourth. And we know b does not equal 0 in this case, and when it doesn't, the a value has to be 1 fourth. And if we test that back through, 1 over, looking at the top equation, a, b equals b over 4, we know that 1 fourth b is equal to b over 4. I hope that explanation was pretty simple. Always remember to do that last step and check your answers against the equation in the question to make sure you did your math correctly. That way, when you move on to the next problem, you can ensure you got it correct. Also, keep in mind the tip if you're having trouble finding the answer. Remember, the most of these math tests are going to be multiple choice. And occasionally, you can work backwards because one-fourth is going to be one of your choices. So what you can do is you can substitute that one-fourth into the equation up top and try out the answer if you want to do it that way, if you're having problems figuring out how to get into it um, or how to simplify, say, B over 4 over B or something like that. So just remember, there's always multiple angles you can tackle these type of questions. I just want you to open your mind up to thinking about the different possibilities. As always, remember, if you always aim at legendary, you will land in success. Good luck, everybody.